From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Friday the 30th of October. We'll start in Queensland and it's been announced that the borders will finally open to New South Wales from November 3rd, but 5 million people have been left out of the deal. Queensland's border will open to everyone except for those from the Greater Sydney region, despite mounting pressure on Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk to reopen to the entire state. The decision is based on advice from Queensland's Chief Health Officer, who said she was concerned Sydney was continuing to experience mystery cases. As well as Greater Sydney, Queensland's border will also remain closed to Victoria indefinitely. And overseas now, and the man suspected of carrying out that deadly terror attack at a church in Nice yesterday has been identified by police. 21-year-old Brahim Awisawi from Tunisia entered the church with a large knife and reportedly decapitated a 60-year-old woman whose dying words would tell my children that I love them. A picture of the man has gone viral online, which was taken after he was shot by police. He was not fatally wounded and has been taken into custody. We're going to lighten things up a little bit now and Halloween could look a whole lot scarier this year thanks to a popular new offering from Kmart. Now the retail giant is selling fake blood for one dollar but one mum has (laughs) urged others (laughs) Bucky and I find this really funny for some reason. Our mum has urged others not to put it on their children's faces because it doesn't come out. Yeah, a Facebook post about the blood attracted so many comments from other mums saying they'd made the same error with one declaring, I used it on my daughter's face last year, lol (laughs) Big mistake, (laughs) poor kid. What a bloody error. To entertainment now, Kim Kardashian turned 40 last week and to celebrate the milestone, her husband Kanye West gave her a rather out there gift. This is so weird. Yeah, Kanye gave Kim a video featuring a very real looking hologram of her late father, Robert Kardashian, who died of cancer in 2003 at the age of 59. The hologram shows Kim's father praising her and dancing to their favourite song before disappearing into a cloud of glitter. Have a listen. I am so proud of the woman that you've become, Kimberly, and all that you've accomplished. All of your hard work and all the businesses you have built are incredible. But most impressive is your commitment to become a lawyer and carry on my legacy. Yeah, that's a strange gift, Mm, isn't it? mm. Anyway, staying with entertainment now, and Faraz Durrani has picked a fight with another of his SAS Australia co-stars. Now, all week, Faraz has been in a war of words with Shannon Ponton, who he called a redneck. But in an interview with Kyle and Jackie O today, Faraz targeted Merrick Watts. Have a listen to this. You know what's going on there? He's a nice guy. It's a nice guy. I would have coffee with him if I had COVID and I wasn't wearing a mask and I didn't want to laugh. We asked Merrick if he wanted to respond to Faras and he said he's not going to bring himself down to Faras's level with petty insults. Yeah, Faras is on a warpath this week and if you'd like the chance to win a spring entertainment pack which includes a 55-inch Samsung TV and a Woolies gift card, head to news.com.au slash win right now. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update over the weekend. Your headlines from news.com.au.